Welcome back to the channel. Today I've got another 2023 G7740i. This one is in the lovely tanzanite blue. It's also got the M Sport Professional package. The way you can tell that is because the grills are blacked out. So by default, all the 7 Series gas powered ones are M Sport vehicles. So M Sport Professional adds that basically extended shadow line trim, as well as the choice of calipers. I think the default is black. Let's take a little bit closer look at this brand new 7 Series. So we got our split headlight design. And you can, actually you could get crystal daytime running lights, part of the executive package, which is sadly no longer available on the 7 Series gas powered vehicles. That's one of the options that has disappeared rather quickly. Also, the integral active steering, which is stated on the 760, was an option on the 740, but only through, I think, September production. So, a few things have disappeared from the car, including automatic doors. I think the rear luxury seating package as well. Maybe it's a lounge. But either way, some things have disappeared from the brand new 7 Series. So, this is a very large vehicle replacing the previous Gen 7 series. It's about five inches longer, a little bit taller, and slightly wider. So we'll take in our Tanzanite blue as we have a Subaru or something coming in here. So we have our style 908M wheels, sort of like a classic design here with the black M Sport calipers. As the guy rolls through my shot, not sure if it's a Mitsubishi. Oh, yep, Mitsubishi Mirage. Or Evo, whatever the hell it is. All right, so obviously a much larger vehicle. It is ginormous. We'll take a look at the back of the car with its new taillight design. So very sleek taillights. In my opinion, look really, really good. And then, of course, zoom in here, new fonts for the 740i. So much bigger 7, and then the 40i is much smaller than what you're probably used to. It's also the case on the i4 M50, that M badge is bigger than the 50 badge. We'll take in our tanzanite blue. In some sunlight, again, this is one of our favorite blue colors to spec on a car. Looks fantastic in the sun as the different blue tones come out. We'll take a look under the hood as well, but we're going to take a look at the inside and go over pricing and options on this G70. So automatic doors, I'm going to show you how this operates. So basically, you can come up here, press and hold. The door will pop open automatically. It does scan to make sure there isn't anything or object in the way. Again, but the sensors are on the bottom portion of the door as well as the mid. So if you have something protruding out over that sensor, you may have the door hit it. So just be careful with that. Otherwise, it's a, sort of like a powered assist door. All right, so opening up, we've got our Mocha Verganza. Interior, sort of like basically Sensa Fin or Sensa Tech, just another iteration of it. So it's perforated and quilted. The seats are very comfortable and very soft. So, a pretty good alternative to leather if you object to some of the issues with leather. But of course, leather is also available on the 740i, standard on the 760. All right, so put my foot on the pedal brake pedal, the door. If you have another door open, the press of the brake pedal only closes the driver's door. So keep that in mind. You'll have to go into the iDrive settings there and, or excuse me, the doors app and close the doors. You note we do have 
Bowers and Wilkins, which is a standard sound system on the 7 Series. However, the optional Diamond Surround Sound, that's probably the one you want to get if you really are into audiophile and if you have the theater screen. We'll take a look here at the interior, change the content here. So, oops. Go into the AR content. I think probably one of the best features that the 7 series has, also available on the i7. And that's all standard. We do have the driving assistance professional on this uh, spec as well. So different setups in terms of the buttons. So this turns on the system, switches your modes between cruise control or distance control and the assisted driving mode, which now has the highway assistant as well. Your set button plus minus here for the speed adjustments. And the steering wheel is an M steering wheel, which I think looks really, really good. I think it's a really good design for the three spoke M Sport steering wheel. We've got our iDrive 8 over here. Now, so the trim is the black fine wood trim. It does have M striping on some of the designs here. I'll show you it's also on the head restraints. Is this appropriate for an M Sport vehicle? I'm not entirely sure, but it's actually a pretty cool touch. All right, take a look at the center console area. So your cup holders are covered. Push them away. And then push that again, it goes up automatically. So pretty cool effect. Crystal controllers for the gear selector, start stop button, and iDrive controller as well. Plus the volume button here. All right, so let's go over pricing and options. So the starting price of the 740i, 93,300 bucks. Tanzanite blue, another 1950. The Mocha Vaganza is included. 2100 bucks, the driving assistance pro. Another 950 for the M Sport Professional Package. Another 900 bucks for the uh, Parking Assistance Package, which includes Parking Assistance Professional, which is a much better design. It's actually real smart. We do have a video demonstrating that with the X7. We've got another 1300 bucks for the Style 908 M Wheels. 1500 bucks for the Automatic Door, which of course is no longer available. 1300 bucks for the Climate Comfort Laminated Glass. Everything else is included. So the total MSRP for this particular example, $104,295. So you can go really nuts with all the options, including $12,000 paint, basically a dual color, bicolor paint scheme, which looks pretty good. But again, that's $12,000 plus the theater screen and the luxury seating package in the rear. That significant cost to this as well. So we're going to open up the rear door as well for a touch of a button there. All right, so let's step out and take a look at the back seat. Now the automatic doors do take a little uh, time to get used to and how it operates. This you want to do basically a long press here of the door, then it will close. If you don't touch it long enough, it's not going to go. Um, found that out the hard way. All right, so as you can see, we have the M striping here on the head restraint as well, going with the interior wood trim. Looks pretty good, but a 740i, is it appropriate? Not sure. And here's our rear seating. So obviously quite spacious and roomy. Let me go ahead and get in. Don't have to duck down too much either. But a pretty good view. So then this uh, panoramic moonroof, it does not, like the iX, doesn't... Uh, go opaque and less opaque. It's one thing. It doesn't open, of course. But it's basically a sky lounge as well. All right, so we're going to do automatic door here. Press that button. Then we go into the screen as well. So you can change all the blinds in here as well. Change the lighting. Change the ambiance as well. So this one doesn't have any rear seat uh, comfort back here in terms of adjustments, but you can close things, all the blinds here, so you can close one of the side blinds here, the touch of a button on the screen. I think it's pretty useful or annoying, depending on your viewpoint. So again, no uh, theater screen in the back here. It is an option. 
but it's a pretty pricey option. Um, and does it work on the 740i? It probably works on the 740i, but that's going to be sort of a personal preference type thing. But roomy in the back, lots of space, very comfortable. And here's a better view of that steering wheel. Oops, I too zoomed in too much. Um, but it's a really good design, sort of a flat bottom design from the classic sort of M performance steering wheels of days past. But I think it looks really, really good. The cabin looks pretty good. Again, some of you guys criticize the sort of tack on feature of I drive eight screens on other vehicles, but this I think is pretty well integrated into the dashboard. I think there's a little bit more maybe thought to the layout of the seven series, but it looks pretty damn good. All right, so the hood release is down here in the footwell. You can see back here, pull and pull again. It's really well hidden. So if you didn't know the look there, you probably wouldn't see it. All right, so now the hood is open. So here's the heart of the 740i, the B58 inline six turbo engine. So in this guy, it's 375 horsepower, 383 torques. So a much improved engine, at least the output wise, uh, for the brand new 740i over the previous gen 740i. So much more power. I think it's really a really good engine, of course. I think everyone else out there would agree with the B58 being really, really good. I can see a pretty good layout for the engine bay. So now I remember how to open these things and feel like other cars as they come in. All right, so we'll take one more walk around our 7 Series here in Tanzanite blue. Go ahead and close the door here as well. So I think a pretty good color on the 7 Series. We'll explore other colors as they come into the dealership. But that's about it for a, hopefully a much quicker walk around the new 740i. This time in Tanzanite Blue. And we'll see you at the next video.